I love letting my embroidery machine do my quilting for me. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, we'll look at the ambiance quilting tools in the Create Layouts toolbox. Now here's a little whale design. I've used some stipple quilting around it. I also like to combine quilting with red work designs. So I'll actually use the red work design as a quilting element, and then I'll put some background quilting around it that more closely matches my fabric. Let's see how to do it in this little design here. I've already added some stipple quilting here, but let's just go ahead and delete that. And with my design there, I'll just go to the Create Layouts toolbox and go down here to Ambiance Quilting. I want my block size to be 200 millimeters square. I'm going to choose stipple. We do have choices here. We'll look at the other ones momentarily. I'm going to set my design margin to three millimeters. The design margin is how close it's going to stitch to your design. So we can set it down pretty far. Let's, let's try two. For my block margin, I'm also going to put two. That will set it in two millimeters from the edge of my hoop. I'm using a 200 millimeter hoop, so that's what I've set my block size to. For spacing, I think eight millimeters is kind of loose, so I'm going to set that down to four. I can pick a color. These will be colors that are on my Design Colors tool palette. Let's pick that hot pink so we can really see it. And I'll click OK. There's my quilting. If I select the quilting, I can change it to any of the line style stitch types. I can make it a triple run. I can make it a back stitch. I could even put a motif on there if I wanted to, but I need to loosen that up and it might look kind of weird. Let's delete that. I'll go back to the ambiance quilting tool. This time we'll try Echo. We'll keep our same settings just so we can see how it looks differently. Now the tighter your rows are together, the closer the spacing, the longer it will take to reproduce. But you can see that it doesn't take long at all. Now what Echo quilting does, I will ungroup this control U, and if I just select this one and turn it black, you can see that it's just putting a single path around there. So each one of these lines is its own path. So you're going to have quite a few jumps and trims here. And you can see how it echoes around the fish and between the border. So it's kind of doing a transition here. Go back to ambiance quilting. And this time, I'll do Echo Clipped, so you can see the difference. With Echo Clipped, it just echoes all the way out to the corners. So it's like throwing a pebble into the pond, and it's rippling all the way out to the shore. Let's delete that. Go back to Ambiance Quilting. And I'll choose Scroll. If I ungroup this one, Control u and select one and turn it black and change the stitches, you can see that this is actually spiraling out. So it's going to produce fewer jumps and trims than the Echo version. Let's undo that. We'll go back one more time. And this time I'll choose Scroll Clipped. And you can see how this is going to cycle around until it gets to the point where it can't spiral anymore and then it just clips it on the corners. Now if we go over to this design, this design had a little open area. If I turn my echo quilting black, you can see this little bit in here. It's kind of unnecessary. So I'm going to ungroup, just select it and delete it. So depending on your shape, you might get some differing results. So you're going to have to play with this and just See what you think about it.